Have you been diagnosed with chronic kidney disease stage one and wonder what the heck does that mean? Don't worry, I'm gonna talk about symptoms, treatment, and diet coming right up. Hello, kidney warriors. James here from Dadvice TV, and I am your online kidney health coach. And today we're gonna to talk about some of the fundamentals of chronic kidney disease. What are the common symptoms, the common treatment strategies, and diet to help you battle and beat chronic kidney disease. But before we get into that, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please click the little subscribe button, that bell icon right next to it, and become part of our community of people fighting kidney disease kicking its butt and getting better. Living life with lots of energy and not worrying about being forced onto dialysis. Now let's get into today's topic, chronic kidney disease. Now when you first get diagnosed, it's scary. There's gonna be denial, confusion, ton of questions, and pretty much you're probably gonna feel alone in a sea of all sorts of information on the internet, especially conflicting information. Whatever you find on the internet that says do X, you're gonna also find don't do X, it's bad for you. But it really comes down to what stage of chronic kidney disease are you in? Now this video is being designed for people who are pretty much new to my channel and new to chronic kidney disease. For those of you that have been following me for a long time and watching me just kick kidney disease's butt and get healthy right before your eyes, this may seem a little basic, but we, I wanna get it out there. I wanna help those that are just diagnosed because I get these questions asked all the time. So I'm taking the time and making you guys videos to kind of welcome you to the family. I know it's not a family you wanted to join, but the good news is we're all here. All of us with chronic kidney disease are a family and you're now part of that family. And we're gonna take care of you, we're gonna help you, we're gonna support you, we're gonna provide all the inspiration you need to fight kidney disease and get better. First, let's take a look at the stages of chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease is divided into five stages, from stage one to stage two, stage three, stage four, and finally, stage five, also known as end-stage renal disease or kidney failure. Now, how do you know which stage you're in? Doctors use a blood test to measure your glomerular filtration rate, also known as your GFR. And your GFR goes on a scale from zero, your kidneys aren't working at all, they're, it's as if they're not even there, all the way up to 120. Now, a lot of people think GFR is the exact amount of kidney function you have left. It's close, but not exact, but it's close enough that that's typically what most people do. They may say, I have a GFR of 50, so my kidneys are working at 50%. Well, they're actually just slightly below 50%, and if you really do the math, because GFR goes from zero to 120, but it's close enough. And GFR is really the overall measurement, kind of the temperature of how your kidneys are working at removing toxins and waste from your blood. As those build up, all sorts of symptoms and some of them worse than others, can start appearing. Now your GFR is not a constant number. It's fluctuating throughout the day. It can change based on not drinking enough. If you're getting dehydrated, it can drop down. The food that you eat, if you eat a great big giant steak last night, it's gonna lower your GFR because you just bombarded your kidneys with a lot of animal protein, a lot of creatinine created from that so your GFR is gonna go down. And don't worry if I'm mentioning some technical terms that don't make sense yet. Just know it makes bad stuff in your blood that's going to start bringing your GFR down. If you exercise a lot, really strenuous exercise, you're doing some high intensity training or something like that, 
your GFR can go down. Now, your kidneys will start to catch up, filtering out the toxins and the waste, and then your GFR goes back up a little bit. But it varies constantly, kind of like the stock market throughout the day. And doctors like to look at your GFR across three months to finally determine what stage you are in. But you can look at a single GFR and say, hey, I'm in this stage. But if you're on the border, you really wanna look at it again in three months and see where you're at, because maybe you went up or hopefully not down in your GFR. Now let's look at the GFRs that correlate to the different stages of kidney disease. Stage one is called kidney damage with normal kidney function, and your GFR will be 90 or higher. Stage two is a mild loss of kidney function, and its GFR is 89 down to 60. Now stage three is usually broken up into two different pieces, 3A and 3B, and it is considered mild to moderate loss of kidney function. And 3A is a GFR of 59 down to 45, and 3B is a GFR of 44 down to 30. And then stage four is considered a severe loss of kidney function, and it covers a GFR range of 29 down to 15. And stage five, the final stage, is known as kidney failure. This is where, if you are in stage five, you have to make aggressive diet and lifestyle changes or else you may need dialysis and a transplant. And the GFR for stage five is below 15. Now, most people who have chronic kidney disease and discover it, because nine out of 10 people are not aware that they have kidney disease, discover it at stages three, four, or five, because that's where the symptoms really start to show. At the earlier stages, it's easy to overlook the symptoms. Now let's look at the symptoms. Common symptoms include high blood pressure, swelling in the legs, urinary tract infections, abnormal urine test. Now let's talk about treatment goals. Identify and treat any underlying cause, including diabetes and high blood pressure. Slow down the progress to reduce the risk of complications. What can you do? See your primary care physician regularly to monitor your health. Learn about chronic kidney disease. Make healthy lifestyle choices like stop smoking, eat well, get more exercise, reduce your stress, and get lots of sleep. Take medication as prescribed and always consult your doctor before adding new meds, including supplements. Eat a balanced, healthy diet that reduces inflammation. Now let's talk about your diet. You definitely want to eat a balanced and healthy diet. Reduce sugary drinks, especially dark sodas, and cut back on carbohydrates for those that are diabetic. And there you go, a summary of chronic kidney disease for your stage. I covered common symptoms, treatment objectives, and a high level of some of the dietary needs and changes you need to make to help you fight chronic kidney disease and improve your kidney health. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment, click the subscribe button and click that little bell so that you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. And if you know anyone who has chronic kidney disease or is living with someone who has chronic kidney disease, please share my videos. This is great information to help them and motivate them in making the changes they need to fight and kick kidney disease butt. You can do it. It can be done, I have done it. Now, sometimes it can be hard. You may say, oh, I just can't give up this, I just can't stop that, I can't stop smoking. Here's my recommendation, if you need some motivation, beyond what I offer in these videos, volunteer at a local dialysis center. They're popping up everywhere. 
a bunch of them are franchised. They make a ton of money off of our illness. So they want us to keep getting sick. But go in there and volunteer. Go see what it's like to have dialysis. It's not the life you want. Talk to the people. Notice how they bring blankets in, but it's really warm there because as the machines are taking all the blood out, filtering it, putting it back in, they're getting freezing cold, no matter how hot it is. Watch them have muscle cramps. Watch some of them pass out. Talk to them. And whatever you're having trouble giving up, ask them, hey, if you could go back in time, would you give up drinking sodas and eating unhealthy to avoid dialysis? They're gonna provide you the motivation you need to make the lifestyle changes, to make the diet changes, to fight kidney disease and get better. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.